Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In this video, part two on the 2021 Toyota Venza, we're gonna dive inside and check out the interior. Part one, I covered the exterior. In part two, we're gonna go inside and we'll learn all about what's standard, what's optional, what I like, what I don't like, you know, just my personal thoughts on whether the 2021 Vien Venza Interior XLE could be the right one for you. I want to find out if it's the right one for me. Because I'm in the market for a car. And much like you, the interior is where the, I spend the vast majority of my time. So let's jump in. Let's find out what's inside the 2021 Venza Hybrid XLE. Oh, okay, let's begin up front on the driver's side. Smart keyless entry system, so all I need to have is the keys in my pocket and the door unlocks. We'll take a quick look at the door itself. Uh, soft touch fabric all across the door, including the stitching. So it's kind of a multi-tiered door and then there's this metallic strip that runs right into a brushed aluminum piece of trim right there. I like the styling, a lot of time spent right here. Brushed aluminum style door handle, and then some nice brushed aluminum trim going across here. But then maybe you can see it in the video, this is kind of a metallic stripe trim, and that runs into the center console. I'll show you that when we get there. Uh, automatic up and down windows all the way around. They're backlit, so there's lighting on the back side of them. Power door locks, um, power mirrors, and then automatic retracting outside mirrors. So these outside mirrors can set up to fold in when you put the gear, when you put the Venza in park or put it in drive, it folds in and out, protects your mirrors. The XLE trim does come with two position memory for the driver, so the driver's seat and the steering wheel are power actuated based upon the driver and the keyless entry that you use, the remote you use. Bottle holder down here in the door, and then there are speakers in the doors here. Piano black trim here leading right up to the Venza engraved in the door. So one of the things I've noticed right away is a really nice attention to detail on the inside of the Venza. There's a puddle light right here on the door as well. It's an LED puddle light. Haven't seen that on too many other Toyotas, so that's kind of a new deal. The threshold does have a brushed aluminum piece of trim right here with Venza in, uh, embossed in that. Both seats are power, so you've got power recliner, power seat ba base, height adjustment. The driver's seat does have four position uh, lumbar support. The passenger seat does not take a quick look at that driver's seat so this one has the soft tech package on it so this is the soft tech fabric a really nice design to the bucket seat you can see that it is perforated and that's because these seats are heated and cooled for your front driver front passenger there's some more of that uh, metallic trim I was telling you about over on the door Contrast stitching on the seat, super sporty seat, adjustable headrest, adjustable uh, seat belts. We do have side airbags built right into the seat right there. And then down here on the dashboard, dimmer switch for your dash lights, automatic high beam on and off, traction control on and off, and then part of the Softec package, you get a heated steering wheel and this is the power release for the trunk or the lift gate, which is power operated. And then I mentioned before, we do have a power actuated steering wheel for tilt, which is all part of the memory system. And then we do have some more of that metallic trim here, soft tech fabric throughout, brushed aluminum bezels on your vents and your vent controls. Like I said, a lot of attention to detail. And then over here is where we find our headlights and our bright lights, but the uh, XLE does not have fog lights. So normally that's where you'd find the fog light switch. 
let's go ahead and dive in and see what we can find from the driver's seat. Okay, behind the uh, wheel on the Venza, this is the standard Toyota steering wheel. You'll find that on the RAV4, the Highlander. It's the new style steering wheel. On the left-hand side are the controls for the information center, which is up here in the dashboard. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, voice activation, volume for your sound system, the uh, Toyota badging right in the center, and then kind of a brushed aluminum piece of trim going up and around the steering wheel. Steering wheel's leather wrapped. It is heated, as I mentioned before. The switch for that is down here. On this side are on-off switches and settings for your dynamic radar cruise control, uh, lane departure. Here's your cruise control setup. And then here's how you can change through your uh, sound system, AM, FM, and such using the boat mode button. Front wiper controls and rear wiper controls are over here. And then here's what the uh, gauge cluster looks like. I'm going to go ahead and start it up so you can see what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning. Push button start is down here. So foot on the brake, push the button, and away you go. Now notice there's no noise because the hybrid electric motors or, or batteries operating right now. So we're just going to go ahead and switch our center stack over so you can see what that looks like. It's a pretty nice system, nice tablet style uh, interface. We'll come back to that. So here's our gauge cluster and there is a ton of information in here. Uh, it really is a small computer screen. On the left hand side, this is where you'll find the information regarding uh, your charging of your battery and the, what mode you're in, whether it be eco or power or normal. Engine temperature is here. Over on this side is your speedometer and your fuel gauge. You can see this is a very, um, how do I say it, colorful display. So it's blue needles, red, green, white, uh, really is the rainbow of colors up there. Outside temperature down here, digital clock up there. You can see there's a picture of the car and right now the hood is red and that's because I've got the hood open. And then using these buttons right here, this is how we toggle through our information center, uh, which is all right through here. And that's where you do your personalization settings, your fuel calculator, all of that's right in that dashboard right there. Let's take a look over at the uh, center stack. So as far as the system goes, this is an eight inch uh, tablet style uh, information center, which includes the hybrid um, monitoring system. But then as we switch over, we have our audio setups right there with the Toyota app suite. And we have uh, Wi-Fi connect. We also have uh, Sirius XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, Alexa compatible. All of that is built right into the head unit. Clock right here as well. Piano black trim all the way around with your hazard switch right there. As we move down the center stack, more of this brushed aluminum trim and the bezels as well. So a real nice looking center stack. The On the XLE, the temperature control is automatic. Um, front Passenger front driver controls with the dials. And I like the dials on these. They feel upscale. They have a kind of a click to them so you know where you're at. Um, you have your rear window defrost and your outside mirrors, those mirrors out there, they're heated. So you turn those on and off right there. And then you can also sync up this temperature. So if you want to make sure both front seats are at the same temperature, just tap that button right there. And then down here is our push button start, but buried way underneath there, if I can get my camera down there, um, that's where we find our USB charging. And you'll also notice there's a wireless charging system down there as well for your smartphone. And then right here is our parking brakes. And we also have our mode setting. I'm just going to shift this out of the way so you can see it. 
but this is where you set up your modes for your shift modes. And so we've got the EV mode, and then there's a toggle switch between Eco, Normal, and Sport. And there's a visual indicator for this up here on the dash. So you'll notice right now, this is red, and it reads Sport. So I'm in the Sport mode, and as I toggle through that, I'll go to the next mode. So there's Normal, it's white, and then there's Eco, which is blue which doesn't make a ton of sense. Sport, I could see red, because red is, sport is danger, red's danger. Uh, normal, uh, white is kind of a neutral. But what I don't understand is why eco is blue. So the bar is blue, but this says eco and green up here. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. It's a small thing, but it's those little things sometimes that I notice. So on the when I was over on the door here, I pointed out this trim right here and the, the texture and the style of it. They bring that same trim over into the center console. So you can see right here on both sides of this, it's got that metallic trim. And then the center console itself, this kind of goes up into here and it's separated. Can't see it from here, but there's actually some blue ambient lighting underneath here. Um, I did a dark, at dark video of it and it looks pretty nice. I'll try to put a link to that in the in the description. And then this is a CVT automatic transmission um, with the manual shift mode here. So if you want to go ahead and shift it in and you know manually shift your way through the gears, you can do that. It's a leather wrap steering wheel. It's really short, um, kind of a stubby shifter, but it's nice with the tr with the leather trim here and then the brushed aluminum bezel. And then here we have dual cup holders, again, with more of that brushed aluminum. By the way, this is all soft touch fabric along here as well. And then we've got our controls for our heated and cooled seats. And the armrest, interestingly enough, slides forward and backwards so you can cover those up if you don't need them. Gives you a little bit more uh, elbow room, but then if you do need to access them, you just slide it back like so. And as we open it up, you'll see some more, I think I showed you this earlier, some more of that metallic trim. There's a, store, a, a little storage tray here, but within this tray are these adjusters for your bottle holders. So these come out, and if you need a long bottle or a shorter bottle, you just stick those in there like that, and they make it taller or shorter, depending on the size of your bottle. So. Kind of an interesting idea. I just wonder how long these will last. I would lose them on day one. And then this tray does pop out and there's a 12 volt uh, charger right down there and a good bit of storage underneath there as well. That pops back in. And this is a soft touch fabric as well. It's probably soft tech as well, just like we see on the seats. Here's a quick look at the passenger side. We've got that brushed aluminum and that metallic trim here, and this is kind of a two-tiered dashboard with soft tech fabric here. Brushed aluminum up on the door, up on the uh, vent there as well. And then here's our glove box with our owner's manuals. The glove box is not lockable. Don't think that's a big deal, but you should know it. Passenger assist grip up here. Lighted vanity mirrors on both sides. Visor extensions. Overhead lighting is LED. And we do have safety connect right here. And then some warning lights for your passenger airbags. And then we have an automatic dimming mirror right here with, um, it's kind of that uh, frameless mirror that Toyota's starting to put in their cars. And then it has home link up underneath and this is the on off switch for that. One of the things that's interesting about the uh, the Venza that I discovered, I've not found this on any other Toyota, is if I have my door open and I try to shift it into drive, it actually locks the parking brake for, um, for safety. So kind of an interesting little fluke that I discovered on the uh, transmission in the front door. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and see what we can find. 
Okay, let's stop real quick on the, the passenger door back here. More of that metallic trim down here, brushed aluminum door handle, and soft touch fabric throughout the door panel. It's not just all plastic. Uh, here's a little attention to detail. The uh, door handles are felt lined at the bottom. So if you throw your, your pocket change in there, it's not gonna rattle around. Bottle holder down here and a speaker right there in the door. Uh, no threshold plates on the backs, back doors like we saw up front. The uh, XLE does have pockets on the back of both front seats. And the uh, back seats themselves fold down 60-40%. Uh, and the nice thing is they actually fold down to the point where you don't have to take the headrest out. So I really like that on this. Uh, and then you do get access to your trunk once that's folded down. Another interesting little detail about these back seats is they actually recline. So this seat's fully reclined. If I tug up on the handle, I can come ahead and that brings it more upright. You can see we pick up about three inches there, two to three inches of upright. But then if you wanna relax and recline, you just lift up on that and it goes back. It does make a big difference. These headrests are removable. Although you don't have to take them out to fold the seat down, you can take them out. And then we'll jump in the seat here. I'll show you some of the features. Uh, the center console has vents right here. And then there's uh, two 2.1 amp uh, USB ports down there. I uh, kind of like to see those come up. Would have been great if they were either up here higher or I've seen on some vehicles where they're starting to mount them in the seats. Uh, I'd like Toyota maybe to move in that direction if they could. Here's a quick look at the uh, driver's compartment from the back seat. And then your seats in the back, they are the uh, soft tech fabric. They're perforated, but they're not heated and uh, they're not cooled. And then they, there is a folding armrest right here. And when you drop it down, there's a place here for two cup holders. And then one other detail in the back seat, small but nice detail, the overhead dome light, notice it's directly above the back seat passengers. In most cars, it's up here, right? But back here, the passengers have access to turn the dome light on and off. Uh, and then there's a passenger assist grip and a laundry hook right there as well. And then I am actually right now sitting on top of the battery. That front seat's about oh, three quarters of the way back. And you can see I still have three to maybe four inches of knee room, uh, no problem. I'm 5'7", so I'm a little bit shorter, but there's plenty of knee room. And then you can probably see how much headroom I have here as well. Uh, there's probably six inches of headroom, so no problem there. You, you can get four uh, adults in here, no problem. Three uh, children, shouldn't be an issue. Let's okay, your back tailgate on the XLE is power operated. You can use your remote. You can press the switch under the tailgate. There's a switch up front. That opens nice and wide across the back. Uh, XLE comes standard with the cargo cover, retractable cargo cover. So you can just zoom it up just like that, kind of like a shade, if you will. It is removable. The uh, Door sills have these nice brushed aluminum trim plates on there. We left the plastic on there so they won't get scratched for the first owner. Um, and then they also continue those trim plates over into the interior on both sides. Uh, there is a uh, cargo light right here. There's no on and off switch on that cargo light, which is fine because most people just forget to turn it off anyway. The trunk is nice and flat. And then as I said, both of those seats fold down. So to take this off, you just give it a quick tug like that and you can set it in there. And then I'll go ahead and drop those seats down. Unless you have really long arms, you pretty much have to come around to the side to get these seats down like that. So that's one, that's actually 60%. And then I'll swing around here real quick and drop down this other side. And that's your 40%. And now take a look at how much room you've got in the back seat here with that folded down. 
it's not completely flat but if you throw an air mattress in there it's probably not going to matter um, I think you could do an overnight real easy with a sleeping bag and or a um, air mattress let's go ahead and slide that up there now what's really interesting to me in the back is underneath is where your spare tire is right but take a look at how much space there is underneath that there's plenty of room for emergency equipment jumper cables uh, emer uh, emergency road supplies whatever you need should be able to fit it down there and then as we bring it up one more layer that's where we find the jack and the tool kit but notice what's interesting they get they paid attention to details see this piece of uh, insulation right here that piece of insulation is also on this one here so they're really isolating the road noise with that insulation and then that cargo cover right there if you're not going to use it long term is actually designed to be stowed in the back here so you can hide it away if you don't need it or you could just uh, set it in your garage i suppose but um nice big trunk plenty of space inside okay there you go that's the uh, all new 2021 toyota venza hybrid xle all-wheel drive be sure to uh, watch part one, my exterior overview. And hey, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want more like this, subscribe to my channel. This is Tony Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.